Good evening and welcome to the Central Kids App High School 2021 Senior Award Celebration. I am Mr. Sullivan. And I'm insert name here. Uh, I mean, Mr. Randall. We are teachers here at Central Kids App High School. We are honored to be your hosts for tonight's ceremony. Speaking of ceremonies, at this time I'd like to endorse podiums. Now that's a product I can stand behind. We're thrilled to guide you through our ceremony as we celebrate the vast list of honors and awards of this distinguished cohort of graduating seniors. While our commencement program celebrates our seniors as a collective class, tonight is about highlighting the many individual achievements of our top scholars. Coming up, you'll be introduced to our National Merit Commendation Scholars, 4.0 GPA recipients, scholarship and award winners, and of course, our valedictorians and salutatorians. And Mr. Sullivan, I'd like to point out that those are some big words that I just said. They were big words, I agree. Um, thank you for all of our students, families, and CKHS staff that have brought us this celebration today. We honor you. And now we pass the mic on to the 2014 Washington State Squirrel Calling Champion and present today counselor at CK High School. We are talking about, of course, Miss Elizabeth Martin. Hello, CK High seniors and families. My name is Lizzie Martin, and it is my pleasure to recognize our CKHS National Merit Program Commended Scholars for the 2020-2021 school year. These amazing Cougars are in the top 3% of about 1.5 million students who took the National Merit Qualifying Exam, commonly known as the PSAT, during their junior year. We would like to salute these individuals for their hard work and the realization of the high goals that they have set for themselves. We wish them the very best of luck in their next steps after high school. Congratulations to these six graduating seniors who have been recognized as National Merit Commended Scholars. Congratulations. My name is Michelle Satello, school counselor. It is my honor and privilege tonight to introduce to you our graduating Central Kitsap High School seniors who have maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA throughout their high school career. These students all began their Cougar journey together as freshmen and over the past four years have challenged themselves by taking rigorous courses at both the high school and college level while also being actively involved in arts, activities, and athletics. We commend the following students. We know you're just at the beginning of another journey sure to bring you even more accomplishments and achievements. Way to go, Cougs!
Congratulations to our 4.0 scholars. My name is Scott McMines. I'm one of the counselors in the counseling department. Community is at the heart of our student lives and their high school years. Each year, our CK High community is blessed with an outpouring of generous support and recognition from local community organizations, scholarship committees, and donors. Throughout the school year, our senior students engage in rigorous application submissions, many including essay compositions and personal narratives, in hopes of earning recognition and joining the honor ranks of these distinguished organizations. It is our pleasure at this time to welcome each of these community members and groups to recognize their individual student recipients. Greetings, everyone. I'm Yang Lachamali, CK Class of 1998. I'm here to present the Kevin Lachamali Memorial Scholarship. My brother, Kevin, excelled in academics and sports. He was selected as one of the salutatorians for CK during his time there, class of 2011. He also received the Gates Foundation Scholarship, where he used it to attend UC Berkeley towards a medical degree. During the final moments of his life and seconds prior to the vehicle collision, Kevin helped three other students to safety and saved their lives. In honor of my brother, we've created a memorial scholarship in his name. All applicants this year were very competitive. This year, we've selected Dylan Lundblad and recognized Dylan for academic performance, volunteer service, and leadership with a $1,000 scholarship towards a medical degree. Congratulations, Dylan.
Congratulations to all our community scholarship recipients. We're so lucky to have the strong support of our Central Kitsap community businesses, nonprofits, and community service organizations. Thank you for supporting our students. Up next, we welcome all of our CKHS academic departments to announce their department award recipients. Each year, our teachers collaborate together to recognize the students within their departments who embody the specialized skills unique to their subject areas. These are incredibly fun but difficult meetings for staff as they identify their top students. But in some cases, these meetings aren't even fun at all. First up is the CTE department. Ah, the city department, like public works. No, we don't have one of those uh, departments. This is the CTE department, like um, Career and Technical Education Department. Mr. Mr. Randall, you, you follow me? Oh, so kids who want to work for the city in the future. No, see, I, I kind of got the impression you weren't listening to me there. No, uh, this is the CTE department, Career and Tech. Uh, just uh, go ahead and roll on to the next segment. Romano, I teach American Sign Language, and Pono has won the ASL award this year. She is a bridge builder. She works hard, no complaints, asks excellent questions. The second student who's won the ASL award this year is Anna Thompson, and I had not had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Anna for a full year. She came in when in-person school started as a senior, and we chatted for half an hour no talking. She's amazing. Thank you. Hello, I'm David Tracewell, Visual Communications Instructor, here to award the Senior Visual Communications Student of the Year Award. And that student is Molly McKee. Not only does she produce excellent work, um, she's taken upon herself to produce uh, projects that benefit the school, and particularly her senior class, and so she is most deserving of this award. Well done. Thank you. Hi, I'm Miss Staker, and I get to award our first CK Health Science uh, Senior Award to Dylan Lundblad, who has become not only an outstanding academic student, but an exceptional servant leader with the kind of qualities that we would all want to have in a healthcare provider. Congratulations, Dylan, and thank you for all the contributions that you've made to the health science program over the last three years. And the next Health Science Award goes to a senior who has stood out for her hard work and perseverance over the last two years. Rosalinda Walker has gone above and beyond to set goals and to achieve them for her health career. Uh, congratulations, Rosalinda. Hi, my name is Kelly Balzaretti, and I am the current aviation instructor here at Central Kitsap High School. I would like to present this CTE Aviation Award to our senior Emmanuel De Facto in recognition of his work in the aviation program. Emmanuel stated earlier this year that his goal was to know more than he knew yesterday and described himself as caring, dedicated, optimistic, wacky, zany, thoughtful, and grateful. After graduation, he hopes to join the Air Force. In consulting with the previous instructor, Mr. Brenner, I learned that Emmanuel first got involved in seventh grade aviation classroom experience and was a strong pilot even then. Emmanuel has consistently been counted on to participate in his classes, be a model pilot, and works hard to understand the material. He has expressed a desire to be involved in aviation in the future, and I believe the industry would be lucky to have him. Congratulations, Emmanuel, and I look forward to seeing where your flight path takes you. I'm Ken Alstrom. I teach sports medicine. I'm here to award two seniors for the Sports Medicine Student of the Year. The two award recipients are Devin Graham and Tyler Potter. Uh, both of them have been in the sports medicine program for three years. Um, they put in a lot of time after school helping with a lot of the sports, um, treating athletes with their injuries, doing rehab um, with football, with basketball, with volleyball. A lot of the different sports that are here, they're essential to the program and they've done a great job for all three of their years here at CK. So I want to thank Devin and Tyler for um, a great job and a job well done. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Mr. Schmidt. I teach broadcast at Central Kitsap High School. 
It is my pleasure to announce the two senior awards for broadcast. First, Elena Kissaday. What a great kid. She made broadcast what it, what it is and what it was and did amazing work. Um, the second winner is Hannah Inouye. She also came into broadcast and just shined. So both of you two should be very proud of your work in broadcast and I thank you for being part of it. KUGR signing out. Next up, photography. During the at home experience in teaching, these two young ladies made photography and the experience of teaching online a whole lot better. Uh, Eliana Cruz and Emery Can Cantrell both won the Photography Senior Award. Congratulations and thank you for making the class just that much better. And finally, the Yearbook Award. The Yearbook Senior um, this year is Stephanie Schaefer and without her we would not have a yearbook. She was dedicated, she was a great leader, she really, really uh, connected everybody in the classroom to get a really difficult job, a really difficult job finished. Congratulations Stephanie, um, amazing job. Thank you so much. Our Family Consumer Science Seniors Department Award winners this year are Angela Estocchio and Molly Quarter. Angela is our department a winner for our child development class. Angela has taken other classes from me as well, and she is an eager learner and a wonderful asset in class. This year, classes were tough, and Angela got other students talking. She spoke up in Google Meets, and she is a leader in the classroom. Molly Quarter has taken Food Science and Foods 2 from me, and she is my foods senior award winner. Uh, she has a great attitude. She got her family involved in cooking and she was a joy during uh, distance learning, uh, spoke up. She was in Foods 2 fall term so it was all distance learning and she rose to the occasion, participated and was just terrific to have in class. Congratulations ladies. I know you'll go on to do great things. Hey Cougs, uh, it's my pleasure today to be able to give Catherine Florschinger our English Department Award. Um, she has really managed to stand out even in our you know, remote learning and hybrid situation. Uh, I could always count on Catherine to be at our Google Meets and to contribute um, interesting and thought-provoking um, discussion points to any of the literature that we were discussing. And um, you know, her thesis statements were always so nuanced and um, in-depth and with poetry and prose alike. And I've really, it's been a real pleasure getting um, to work with Catherine this year. So congratulations, Catherine, and thank you so much. It is an honor to present one of the English Department Awards to Sarah Ross. In this crazy online environment, Sarah took not only AP seminar, but two semesters of UW in the high school. You may recognize Sarah from her role in the ASB forums, Stop Club, or from the local news, in which she was highlighted for being one of the first female Eagle Scouts. I believe that there is nothing that Sarah can't do. Her outstanding contribution to her English courses at CK highlight just how amazing she is. It was truly a privilege to have you in class this year. Congratulations, Sarah Ross. The award for outstanding member of orchestra goes to Molly Walters. The Louis Armstrong Award for outstanding jazz musician goes to Isaac Ordonez. And the John Philip Sousa Award for outstanding membership in band goes to Allison Samuelson. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Jessie French and I am the chair of the mathematics department here at CKHS. I have the privilege of presenting awards to two amazing students and mathematicians. Our first 20, 2021 award goes to Katherine Florschinger. Kat has demonstrated outstanding mathematical ability in her classes. 
Currently, Kat is taking AP Statistics and AP Calculus AB at the same time during a pandemic. Mrs. Spitzer describes Kat as dedicated, organized, and a methodical student who always does her very best work. Congratulations, Kat. Our next award goes to Connor Huey. Connor has achieved the rare distinction of taking every math course that Central Kitsap School District has to offer. Algebra, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, Calculus AB, Calculus BC, and Connor is currently taking AP Statistics. Connor is a phenomenal student that is helpful, thoughtful, and delivers concise, exacting work in his courses. We are proud to give him a Math Department 2021 award this year. Congratulations, Connor. Hi, my name is Paul Birkenfeld. I'm the current CKHS Science Department Chair, and it is my honor this morning to recognize two outstanding academic scholars in science. Both of these recipients have demonstrated a deep love of learning, a love of being challenged academically in each of their science classes, and in addition, they challenge their teachers each and every day to be and do the best that they could. They actively and positively participated in class, class discussions. The recipients this year, and it is my honor to recognize them, are Allison Baldrich and Jared Daling. Again, they are the 2021 recipients of the Science CKHS Science Department Award. We appreciate their hard work and thank you for uh, this time with you uh, this morning. Have a great day. Hello, my name is Kelly Sapansky, and I am the department head of the social studies department here at CK. It is my great pleasure to announce the winners of the senior awards for the social studies department for the school year of 2020, 2021. Our first award winner is Sonali Sharma. Sonali is a very curious student. She has an amazing capacity for connecting um, past events with what's going on in the present day. And she also genuinely cares about other people. One thing that really impressed the social studies department about Sonali is her incredible passion for advocating for social justice issues. And we are really excited to see what she will do in the future. So congratulations to Sonali. Our second award winner this year is uh, Kara Shepard. Um, Kara is a very quiet person in class but she has a formidable intellect and she was able to overcome her natural reticence to perform brilliantly at the district and state level American Legion oratorical contest this year and as a student she is always well prepared. She's very thoughtful, curious, um, and well informed. And so we are confident that she also will go on to do great things. So congratulations to both of them. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Don Adams and I am the visual arts chairperson. It is my honor to present the recipients of the visual arts department awards. Kenna Wiley. Kenna came to us late in the high school game, but has been a focused artist for some time. Kenna works in both traditional and contemporary art making techniques with an eye toward furthering her craft beyond high school. Emily Schuett. Emily is a mixed media artist that consistently questions societal expectations and pushes back against stereotype. Emily chooses to explore and create art that celebrates the power of the human body. Both artists have a strong sense of self with a healthy dose of independence. Their art making and passion is an inspiration to others. A big congratulations to Molly McKee, the recipient of the Ella Fitzgerald Jazz Award, and to Dale Durham, the recipient of the National Choral Award. It has been a pleasure and an honor working with you both. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Kimberly Yee, and I'm the World Language Department Chair, and I will be presenting the awards for seniors in language. The senior award winners for French are Elena Kissaday and Hannah Inouye. 
Elena has dedicated herself to four years of French, and she often provided a bit of levity when things were challenging. Hannah dedicated herself to learning French in and out of the classroom, and due to this dedication, she was able to achieve an accelerated course progression. I'm proud of both. Japanese senior award winners are Hannah Smith and Naomi Hodgson, both who enthusiastically participate in class and have shown dedication to Japanese for the last four years. There are two recipients for the Spanish Senior Award, Catherine Florschinger and Amber Pellegrin. Catherine has shown unwavering commitment to Spanish three and has demonstrated a love for learning Spanish, not only by keeping up with regular coursework, but consistently going above and beyond and engaging in additional work for reading comprehension projects. Amber also has this dedicated commitment to AP Spanish. She is a positive force during Google Meets and throughout the year, she has always taken language risks. Amber will be sitting for the AP exam and there is no doubt that she will do a great job. It is our privilege and honor at Central Kitsap High School to award and recognize the following seniors for their choices to pursue academic rigor and achieving challenging standards. Well done. We applaud you for your efforts, dedication, and work ethic. These attributes have served you well so far and will pave your way to future success. We encourage you to build upon these strengths as you enter the next stage of your journey. Be sure to thank those who may have helped you along the way, your family, peers, teachers, and staff. Well done, Cougs. Congratulations. All the best. This new day, make a move, doing things a new way, a new way. Cause this is our world, and this is our time. These are our plans. We're gonna let them shine. This is our place in the human race.
Good afternoon. My name is uh, Mr. McCarthy, and I, along with Mrs. Miller, have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing this year's AP Capstone students. The AP Capstone program is a two-year program where students culminate in taking AP research. The main requirement for the class is to, to write a 5,000-word research paper on a topic of student's choice. They also have to present an oral defense at the end of the class. By taking this two-year program coupled with four AP classes and passing them, students are going to graduate in a couple of weeks with the AP capstone distinction. This is something that Mrs. Miller and I and the staff are incredibly proud of. In this inaugural year, considering the COVID landscape and all the barriers and all the obstacles that we faced, these students brought tremendous joy to the classroom. You were true scholars and to go on this journey with you side by side, Mrs. Miller and I could not be more proud of you. Congratulations to this year's AP Capstone graduating class. National Honor Society serves to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character, the four pillars of National Honor Society. These characteristics have been associated with membership in the organization since their beginning in 1921. This year, we have 124 members. Of those students, 38 are graduating seniors that you see on these screens. Stoles are earned by seniors who have attended at least 75% of our meetings, have at least a 3.4 cumulative GPA, and have participated in a minimum of 20 volunteer service hours. At our NHS celebration held earlier this month, stoles were distributed to seniors who earned this honor, and their award is designated here with an asterisk. Our 2020-2021 Executive Board was comprised of four graduating seniors. They will be wearing a white stole at graduation to identify them as officers. NHS members wear a blue stole. Well done, seniors, and congratulations. Good evening, my name is Rebecca Doherty, counselor for Running Start students at CK High. This year, I'm excited to announce that we have 51 students that will not only be earning their high school diplomas, but also earning an Associate of Art degree from Olympic College. These students have worked tremendously hard going above and beyond the minimum graduation requirements to attain this goal. Like most students across Washington State, they made the pivot to online learning in an uncertain time and still remain focused on their education and on achieving this significant accomplishment. Congrats to all of our seniors earning their AA degrees. I wish you much success in your future endeavors. The Seal of Biliteracy is an award in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. This impressive achievement signals to future employers and colleges the academic success and tangible benefits of being bilingual. We may not have favorites at this school. Yeah, we probably do. All right, well, let's pretend for a moment for the sake of the video that we don't have favorites. Every year, the staff comes together to identify two seniors who demonstrate these five qualities. Number one, a heart for service. Two, a positive attitude toward their classmates, school, and community. Number three, displaying an understanding and appreciation for civic responsibility. Possessing the strength of character to do what's right and... Promoting citizenship within our school. This year, we had stiff competition because there are so many outstanding CK Senior Cougars. And when you are outstanding, make sure you are standing six feet away from other seniors and practicing safe social distancing protocols. And wear your mask. Speaking of masks, this morning I was wearing a mask when I was making coffee. And I was thinking to myself, what is a mask but a coffee filter? You know, like coffee, like <coughs> cough. Yeah. yeah. It's, no, a good, I, it's a good one, huh? Yeah. I get it. 
All right, good. Coffee filter. Uh, we are so proud to feature the two winners from the class of 2021 here. Thank you for being such upstanding citizens. Good evening. My name is Craig Johnson, and as principal of Central Kitsap High School, I have the unique honor of recognizing our valedictorians and salutatorians. Central Kitsap High School is founded on the mission of being dedicated to excellence, and the following students have embraced this commitment through an incredible high school career of academic, social, and civic pursuits. The valedictorian and salutatorians are selected by the faculty on the basis of their grade point average, status as distinguished scholars, their course of study, and demonstrated pursuit and love for scholarly learning. The class of 2021 has one valedictorian and five salutatorians. They are an outstanding group of students who have excelled tremendously during their time at Central Kitsap. We look forward to hearing from you all during our commencement ceremony on June 11th. Thank you. Congratulations, valedictorians and salutatorians. We can't wait to hear more from you during our commencement ceremonies. Well, CKHS class of 2021, that's it for tonight's ceremony. Each of the students awarded and recognized tonight are remarkable. These honors are hard fought and earned through countless full days and late nights of hitting the books, collaborating with peers and consulting with your teachers, families, and loved ones. And uh, don't hit the books too hard because you can hurt your hand. Just a general, uh, that's a tip. It's a tip for you too, Mr. Sullivan. Anyhow, uh, we speak for all the staff at CKHS and all your elementary and middle school staff before us when we say how proud of you we are and that we cannot wait to hear about all of your future accomplishments and contributions to the world or the galaxy if we end up colonizing space. Space, 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 space. All right, so thank you, and uh, have safe, be fun, and go wash your hands. Uh, have safe and be fun. It's funny because it's backwards. <laughs>